Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. They call me Mad Jack. And if there's anybody in these mountains that knows the real story of James Adams, that'd be me. So I'm putting it down in writing just the way it happened in hopes of setting the record straight. Now, my friend Adams was accused of a crime he didn't commit. So he escaped into the mountains, leaving behind the only life that he ever knew. Now, that wilderness out there ain't no place for a greenhorn, and his chances of surviving were mighty slim. Weren't no time at all, for he was beaten down, ragged, and nearly stalked. Long about then, he come upon a grizzly bear cub, all alone and helpless. Now, Adams knew that little critter couldn't survive without his help, so he started right down that cliff, risking his own life to save it. <laughs> now that cub took to Adams right off. And that was when he discovered he had a special kind of way with animals. They just come right up to him like he was a natural part of the wilderness. But that bear cub, he was extra special. As he growed, he became the best friend Adams ever had, and together they became a legend. 